One of the things that's great about Google Classroom is that it can sync with your Aries gradebook uh, so that whenever students are added into your Aries classes and, and rosters in Aries, those students can automatically be added into Google Classroom as well. But one of the problems is when we shift from one trimester to the next or one semester to the next, uh, we now have a new roster in Aries, but our Google Classroom is still syncing with the previous semester or the previous trimester. So in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, unlinking that Google Classroom from a previous term and linking them to the new term. This is going to be a two-step process. The first thing you'll do is you'll log into Aries like this. And you'll notice that we have two grade books over here. One is for this English class in the fall term, and the other is this new English class for the spring term. Right now we are synced up with the fall term, which had 32 students. And in the spring term, we have one new student that's been added in, and we'd like that student to automatically be imported into Google Classroom. You'll see the 33 over here. So right now our Google Classroom is synced up with this fall term grade book in Aries, which means it's pulling all of the fall students in. To unlink this from the fall gradebook, all we have to do is head over here to the pencil icon. And when we click that, you'll see these two options. You can link to a different classroom, or you can unlink the current association. We're going to click unlink so that we are no longer syncing Google Classroom with that fall term. And we get this little message saying that we were successful. So now you'll notice this fall term gradebook is no longer synced with any of our Google Classrooms. The classroom is still there, all the assignments are there, the students are still there, but it's not going to be doing that syncing every 24 hours. The next step for us is that we want to take that classroom that already exists and sync it with the new term. So if you've not created a gradebook in Aries yet, you'll want to make sure that you do that. Make sure that the gradebook is syncing with the current term, or the current trimester or current semester students. So we've got that gradebook already established over here. And then we will do the same process that we did at the beginning of the school year. We'll click this Add Website button. Once we do, we'll have these two Google Classroom options. Do we want to create a classroom or do we want to link? Back at the beginning of the year, we used this Create button to, to establish a brand new Google Classroom. That classroom already exists, though, with all of the assignments in it. We just want to keep it going now through the next term. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick the Link option so that we can link our already established Google Classroom with this new Aries gradebook. Once you click link, then you're going to get this list of different Google Classrooms that you have already established. Here's the one we want to sync it with, English 9, period 3. So we're going to click that gradebook. It'll take a second to process that request, and then we will get this message here that it was successfully linked. So once we click OK, we know that in the background, Aries is going to automatically take any students that are in this spring term uh, roster and import them into Google Classroom sometime in the next 24 hours. So within our Google Classroom, we should see the student total increase to 33 within the next 24 hours or so. One additional note, um, this only imports students into your Google Classroom. So if you have some students that were in your previous semester or previous trimester and they are no longer enrolled, you'll need to go into Google Classroom and manually remove those students. But the great part is once you change this association in Aries gradebook, those students will not automatically be re-added into your Google Classroom. They will stay permanently removed since now Classroom is syncing up with the new Aries gradebook. If you have multiple class periods, uh, you would just do this same process and repeat it for each one of your class periods, making sure to sync the correct gradebook with the corresponding Google Classroom. This is going to be common for all secondary teachers. If you're an elementary teacher and you only have one Aries gradebook that syncs with one classroom, you're all done. It's a one-step process. If instead you established a different a Google Classroom for each subject matter that you're teaching, so one for language arts, one for math, one for social studies, you would just repeat this process again, one for each classroom and gradebook that you want to change the association for.